What is going on guys, Solo is here, the YouTuber to invest to rest. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys here step-by-step -step how to send crypto from KuCoin to MetaMask. Step-by-step, -step, I'm gonna go through in detail and also how to find out the exact withdrawal fee from KuCoin to MetaMask for each type of crypto that you're sending over. Now, if you guys still don't have KuCoin, it's an amazing app exchange that is KYC free. And if you want to join, you can use my referral code in the pinned comment below and start your KuCoin account. All right, guys, so let's start here with the first step. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want to send maybe like BNB, right? Or some other types of cryptos from your KuCoin account to MetaMask. And honestly, KuCoin is an amazing app because they have very low buying fees, but also withdrawal fees. They have one of the lowest withdrawal fees for BNB and other cryptos as well. But the first step you guys want to do is you want to go right here to assets and you want to go to right here on trading. And with the USDT that you have, you want to buy whichever crypto that you're going to send over. In my case, it's going to be BNB. So let me buy it real quick. So after you buy the crypto that you want to send over to MetaMask, what you need to do next is very important. That is you want to transfer from your trading account here. You click right here on it, click transfer click all and you want to transfer from trading account to main account so that's where you're going to be able to send it from okay so make sure you go from trading to main account put all or the ever amount that you want to send it from you go right there then you're going to go right here to main you click on main and you want to search up right here your crypto that you want to send over to metamask search it up in my case bnb you click on it and then right here at the bottom it's going to say withdrawal and when you click on withdraw, uh, this is the most important part in the part that you want to get right and make sure that you're doing everything right and double check, triple check if the address that you're sending over to is correct. Let me show you guys here how to find what the withdrawal fee is for each crypto. And that's going to be right here at the bottom left. You guys can see right here fee is 0.01 BNB to transfer any amount of BNB over to MetaMask. And the fee for each crypto differs, obviously. Uh, for example, XLM is probably like free or su something super low. But if you guys want to know how much 0.01 BNB is, I'm right here on BNB converted to USD, and that is about $5. If you're fine with that, then you continue sending over BNB, or you can switch to some other type of crypto. So the next step here is you want to paste your wallet address for your MetaMask. And to find that, you just go to your MetaMask app, and you copy and paste the wallet from MetaMask. So let me do mine right here. So then after you have it, just click on paste. And guys, after you paste it, you want to go back to your MetaMask um, and check to see if it's 100% correct. You want to double check this. So make sure you copy and paste the right address from MetaMask. So then the next step here, the network, you don't have to worry about that. It's just BEP20 or whichever one that it chooses it for. For the amount, you could just put max and it'll go like that. So then after you press confirm, it's going to have these three security verifications, which is kind of annoying. But it's good because it's three layers of security so nobody hacks in and tries to withdraw from your account. And with these three layers, you got to be kind of fast. And I'm going to show you guys here which one to do first and which one to do last. Okay, so the first one here, you got to put in your trading password. And this is a password that you set up in the beginning of your KuCoin account whenever you're going to trade. All right, so then after you do that, the next step here, you got to be kind of fast. And that is the email verification code. It's going to give you about 60 seconds to put that in. And if those 60 seconds pass, then you're not able to do this. You're going to have to redo this, okay? But on top of that, you're going to have to do the 2FA code if you set that up. And that's basically the Google Authenticator code. And I recommend you do that one last. And there's a reason why it's last here is because that one is even less than 60 seconds. I think it's like around uh, 30 or like 20 seconds. So definitely do the email one first, paste that in, and then after that, paste in the 2FA. So let me do it real quick. Then you press confirm and it should go. If it says right here in orders, then that means that it is sent and it worked. And like I said, do it in that order because you will be able to do it and it won't have to reset and you won't have to redo it again just because the time ran out for one of them. And yeah, guys, depending on the crypto that you sent, it should take a certain amount of time. Obviously, you know, maybe if you send Bitcoin, that's going to take more time than say something like XLM or XRP. So just be patient. You know, you double check the ready so you know the address is set. And I definitely recommend you screenshot the address. Um, before you send this so you have proof that it's the, the legit address but yeah guys that's how you send crypto from kucoin any crypto from kucoin to metamask and fund your metamask account step by step if you guys still don't have a kucoin account use my referral code in the description and pin comment below and thank you guys again comment if you guys got any questions join my free facebook group and check out my patreon and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace